are on the way to Josh and Skye's house to see their incredible collection. I don't even know what is going to be in these cases, but it's something crazy. Crazy. They have some of the best shark tooth collections. Definitely up there with how many teeth they regularly buy every single week. So. Yeah. This is um, this is a case, a, a case of hostalysis from the whale pond uh, excavation that we did in 2022. Uh, okay. Emily found one of these. Really? Oh yeah. That's the same dirt. Jeffrey, you see that case for me here? Is that a rhino jaw? Uh, it's a uh, woolly, woolly rhino jaw. Woolly rhino That's rhino. not from here, is it? No, it's from Siberia. Uh, I still don't know the difference between gonthothere and mastodon teeth. Yeah, I don't either. Uh, so the gonthotherium teeth are, um, it's a smaller cousin. Uh, they, were a little, they were a little less spurrier. Don't bite, uh, don't bite. So you got the woolly mammoth, which is basically all hurt. You know, the this? entire thing is covered. What's this? Is um, that that's walrus? a um, giant uh, male walrus. I thought it was a walrus. Really? Yeah. Look at all those freaks. The, this is Bacillosaurus right here. Oh, dude, I need to see that. Yeah, this Out is, in the sun. These are what they call yoke teeth. What does that mean? Um, it's just one of the biggest teeth in the mouth. Um, it's just one of those old legend terms, yoke teeth. I don't okay. know. Now, Bacillosaurus, what does that mean to somebody who knows nothing? Um, it's a whale that existed during the Eocene. The nickname for this whale was the King Lizard because it, at the time it still looked like some sort of reptile. Even their teeth kind of look reptile-ish, maybe dog-ish, I don't know. I've, yeah. And these turned into filter feeders, so it's just crazy. These are some of the most sought after teeth in the world, actually. Way more sought after than Meg's, Angie's. Look at that third root. And that came out of a fish? Not a whale. A whale. Yeah. So this is like the T-Rex of the marine life mm -hmm. at the time. At the time, yeah. Yeah. Other than like the sharks. The skull. This is this. This is just marks over the top. Yeah, with the shark we got, he got me into it. This is actually a Harleyville hand. Yeah, take it as was just a rare? display. Like yeah, the so they don't yeah. find this formation. Yeah, the really? Yeah. The Here's the really rare it's stuff. Like, dire like, wolf, jaguar. Yeah. There's dire wolf, jaguar. Yeah. This is the um, American bear. This, those, the museums is everything from here, this way, in this case, I found in a three foot by three foot area. Wow. And what are those? Those are Hexanchus agassiz. Cow shark. Yeah, they look like little cow sharks. Mm -hmm. You have seen cow sharks and they are associated. Were you using like a micro sifter for that? No, I was on my hands and knees and my face is close to the ground. I was in a creek and um, I pulled up this vertebrae, started breaking apart. Well, it was already like busted apart in the screen. And then the next shovel scoop, that came up. And I realized immediately that these were not 
parts of the same vertebrae. It was two different vertebrae, similar size. So went on the search, found two more, and then found all of these right here with it. Now, this is the only tooth that I believe is actually associated with this, um, based on the size and the quality of preservation. These, I think, were just washed into that pocket. So you think this was part of yeah. this shark? Yeah. yeah. I found this one. That's my first tooth. <laughs> it's like a whole different tooth. That yeah. is awesome. One more. I got the toothpaste thing. When you see that Z, when you see that Z in the ground, yeah. You're, yeah. you're excited, bro. That's pretty yeah. awesome. <laughs> You I, found those over there, but yeah. yeah, and that one, like ten to fifteen percent of the case. Yeah. No, it's like ten to fifteen mags on one shelf. We didn't. Yeah, which is like. That's not fifteen percent. What? The Five percent. This row, this row, this row, that row. Have you ever counted the number of mags in the case? No, I haven't. It's like over a hundred. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Can't believe we did that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the end there. It's amazing how many teeth are out there. Yeah. Amazing how many sharks are out there now. It's not, how how hard it shark. is to find them. Yeah. <laughs> or in this case, how easy. Although it's not easy. No. It's the hardest work you'll ever do in your life. That's right. They're everywhere in this house, though. You can find this them. This one's sick. But this this collection shows the possibility of what comes when you keep digging. Mm Two tips. Extra rare because it has two tips. Massive 6.25 make found by Josh. Man, that's they're just built different. Just built different here in South Carolina. It's where the largest megs in the world are found. Look at those ripples. Super crazy. Whatever else may have. Whoa, what is it. that over there? <laughs> <laughs> this but is this was my first. Real? Yes. Yes. It's um, what? probably a fifth, what, 15% or something? Um, you found this? Yeah. Uh, by this tooth right here. Really? Yeah. It was sticking out of the wall. And that tooth led to the rest of this. Um, wow. And the block weighed about 900 pounds. This was in 2020. And... This is a Dorodon serratus, the type of bacillosaurid whale that lived during the Eocene about 34 to 36 million years ago. Right, look at the teeth. Like, just, ah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can you Venom? see Venom's face? Right there? Oh yeah. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> What's back here? The rest of the collection. Okay. Well, some of it. We have mammoth tusk, the largest ever pulled out of the Cooper River. Whoa. Yeah, there's the tip, that's the base. I'm eventually going to restore this for a client. Eventually, that's a big project. And apparently this is one of the only seven inch megs on the planet, right? Yeah, there, I mean, there's like, supp supposedly there's somewhere around 25. I would say 20 to 25 of them. 
So, because there's going to be skeptics. Mm -hmm. 7.2. Wow. I found it from this side here. Like my shovel came down here. There was a tree root here hooked into a larger root here and then both of these were connected to a bigger root that was here that was about that big around so it was that root split this tooth in two in multiple pieces wow. yeah like even some of the enamel was flaked off whoa let me see that Sorry. you see the crack in the enamel right here that's because that piece of enamel wasn't even attached anymore neither was that here let me see the no, there's skeptics about this tooth. Oh yeah, there is. I hope y'all enjoyed that crazy collection of ancient sea monsters from South Carolina collected by Josh and Sky Bassick of Palmetto Fossil Excursions. Now we have spent a lot of time digging there and watch those other videos of all the shark teeth we found ourselves on my page right here. But now we are actually going back there again next week. And we spend a lot more time digging at Palmetto Fossil Excursion, even with Coyote Peterson, who's a massive YouTuber. Feel free to subscribe to this channel. We got a lot more crazy stuff like this on the way and it's only getting better. If you know of anybody else that has an even better shark tooth or fossil, let me know and I would love to film it too.